Hi YouTube, this is another attempt at the FL Sun speedboat race. I already had one people up the game and I thought I have to follow that. So again, that is a speedboat race by FL Sun. They are known for the Delta printers. It's a 200% scaled Benji, which means we are fighting flow issues a lot less than acceleration and cooling issues. We are usually fighting with speedboat races. Um, let's dive directly into the settings again. So um, two parameters, three solid and uh, top and bottom layers, which are the rules, um, as well as 0 0.25 millimeter layer height. That's also within the rules. 10% um, infill. I went back to rectilinear lin uh, infill. I was doing line infill before. Um, while line infill is faster and works quite nice at really low infill rates like 10%, it can get small issues with uh, solid top um, parameters that are sitting on them and I wanted them to look better. Yes, um, also for the speeds, uh, parameter speed is now at 300 millimeters per second top solid. I went down to 150 because I really want to look them uh, nicely. Um, infill speed is 400 millimeters per second, which doesn't sound too much, uh, but you have to keep in mind it's a 0 0.5 millimeter nozzle I'm running, so it's 0 0.5 millimeters um, in width and 0.25 millimeters in height, and that uh, is a lot of flow like that. Travel speed we go up to 800 millimeters per second, which is not too much of an issue with the printer. It's 60 millimeters per second for Z is actually really low. We could double that, but we don't gain a lot of that. First layer speed, I'm now running 250 millimeters per second. Uh, before I was running 150 millimeters per second. The main difference here is that I'm uh, printing on Tears of Banshee now, which means I dissolved a few old Banshees in acetone um, and put that on a print bed, which is a really high adhes uh, adhesive layer for printing ASA or ABS on. Default accelerations are now at 35,000 millimeters per second square, parameters 25,000, bridges 20 only, first layer 10, and travel also 35,000. Yes, filament settings, I went now to 90% fan speed, 100% of all top layers. I also went up in temperatures to 285 degrees, 255 for the first layer, and yeah, let's see. Um, printer settings are changed also. The square corner velocity is now at 45 millimeters per second. Um, I up the acceleration for Z to 5,000 millimeters per second squared. And yeah, it's currently printing and we will see the results soon. For now, it doesn't look too bad. If we now look at the, maybe this, this one here. And we can see it's the normal Banshee. And this is why we are ch changing the infill, those layers here. They were not looking nice before. So I wanted to fit that better. And this one here, those overhangs, you could actually print them really slow. But I don't need to because my cooling is already on the high side. Actually, I'm thinking if this run fails, uh, that I'll go down with cooling again. I already have my enclosure with closed doors now because um, otherwise it's getting too cold for the ASA. Let's see. Okay, while we lay down the first layer, I'd like to talk a little bit about the printer. The printer is a Redrick V Minion, um, which is a cantilever style bed slinger. I did a few modifications on it. The first modification is that the Y stepper motor is replaced by a 48 millimeter instead of a 40 millimeter length one. Um, the X gantry has seen a few changes. I uh, have a Rapido Ultra High Flow hot end on it, an Orbiter 2 extruder. Um, firmware, of course, is Clipper with Ratos by Michael Schmidt. Um, Yes, I also replaced the, the idlers with bearing stacks at that point in this machine. The X motor cage is a self-designed one to enable EVA 3, um, although I run the machine without end-stop sensorless, so the modification in the end was not uh, needed. 
Um, the whole hot end, uh, the whole print head is ever three, um, and the Lucano duct uh, we recently worked on. For X and Y, I use a forty-eight volt electronics um, with uh, TMC five one six zero Pro drivers by Fisac and a Octopus Pro um, for um, for the MCU. Yes, and that's basically about it. The whole printer is sitting in a um, box made out of extrusions. This enables to enclose it easily. I did run active heated chambers in that as well, but it's not installed right now. That's about it. The whole printer as it stands here is at about uh, 650 euros with all the upgrades. I chose cheap components for most of that. So well within the limits we've got. So let's look at the results. And it's a Benchy. More than a Benchy shaped object, I'd say. Uh, let's see. Cooling is fine. I think slightly second. Yeah, I'm happy. Okay, now let's look at the results. And this is the first image. We can see it's still on a build plate swimming in the tiers of Benchies, which kind of bubbled a little bit underneath, which 
makes it look like it's <laughs> sailing through lava or something like that, kind of like that image. Uh, Banshee looks fri fine from this perspective, I think. Looking from the top, we can see the most critical parts, um, which are basically all the closed layers. Um, they are looking okay to me. Nothing severely bad for that speed, at least. Um, then we can have a look at the front uh, bottom part, which is the strongest overhang on the Banshee and one of the parts that I usually have issues. And we can see that cooling is not an issue. And my favorite perspective of every Banshee is looking inside from the back. We can see the wheel and everything looking nice, overhangs looking good, layer stacking looking nice, smoke stack looking nice. So this is my result. And my entry for the Ethel Sun speedboat race. Um, I'm curious of what you think, and um, that was a really interesting uh, run this time because I actually thought yesterday I'll leave it as it is, and then I saw new entries coming in today, and I thought, okay, I have to speed up a little bit, and now I shaved off another eight minutes, which I think um, is not bad going below 30 minutes with decent quality does not seem possible for my setup. Um, but yeah, we will see that if others can manage.